Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. This is part two of the news. I've got another 12 things to go through with you in this video alone. And I imagine I'll have lots more to go through with you by the end of the week as well. Just quickly, I wanna make a note obviously, and I suppose just reiterate, why I've broken the Victory Sabre video down. I'm lucky enough, obviously, that HasLab have got it out in the UK quite early. Um, and initially, yes, I just wanted to get the main video out just to show you, I suppose, how good he looks for first impressions. Uh, for those of you who are unaware of Star Sabre and Victory Sabre, there's so much to show you, and I really want to do him some justice. And on the same hand, I don't want it to be a huge, huge video. Star Sabre himself's got five modes. You've got the small robot, the small jet, the large robot, the large jet, and indeed the base mode. Victory Leo's got alternate mode, robot mode, and jet mode. Then of course you've got all the combined modes and indeed the two MicroMasters and everything else. So by breaking it down into stages, into more videos, hopefully, um, and the general consensus from all the comments people have left seems to be that that's the right way to do it. Because I want you guys to appreciate and I suppose see how good he is. Um, and indeed not overkill, overkill with yourself and all the comparisons, etc. So it's going down quite well. Rest assured the rest of the modes will be done. Separate transformation videos will be done as well. Not to spoil it for anybody who's waiting for theirs, uh, but I'll do my very best. And again, keep your comments in with the ideas, what you want me to do with that figure um, and I'll quite happily try and get them done for you at the same time. Right, as I've just said, 12 things to go through with you already with this. Some we've seen, some we haven't. And we're going to start off with great news for fans of Transformers in Toronto. We've got TFCon Toronto. This has been confirmed for next year, July the 14th to the 16th. And as I get more and more information on this, I will let you know. But there you go. That is some great news for Transformers fans there. There just seems to be an abundance of conventions at the moment, which is fantastic. Few things of Rise of the Beasts, including figures coming up, uh, but this is interesting. This is about, um, I suppose, the score or the music for it. So what we've got here, and I hope I can pronounce this wrong, we've got Yonning Bontemps is tapped to compose the music for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Um, he's now working as the composer for the up and coming movie. He's worked with Stephen Capel Jr. on movies such as The Land and Creed 2, and he's famous for his music on TV series such as The 4400, and uh, movies as Wedding Season, My Name is Paul, etc. So it's looking good. He's obviously going to be, and he has in fact looks like he's confirmed to be helping out with the music score with regard to that. Here's a couple of pages of something that I always feature on here because I think it's great and I really wish that we had something like this. Even though these are the old um, model images of, of course the HasLab project, these are pages taken direct from Figure King, which is released in Japan. As I've said, the reason why I like it so much is it's something you can physically hold on to and actually, actually have a look at. So we've got the HasLab project, as well as the core class figures there from, um, of course, Studio Series 86 Rumble. And indeed, we've also got the Dark of the Moon laser beak. What I also like there is it's showing you that you can indeed put Rumble into Soundwave, which I know loads of people were asking about. Um, and I suppose it's nice to have it confirmed there and there for you. And of course, I'll do the same when I'm lucky enough to get hold of mine. Right, a few things that we've seen already, but again, just great new images of them. This is, of course, Holiday Optimus Prime. A few people on the boards have managed to get hold of him. There he is, of course, with Scourge, and I think that's the Netflix Prime it is. Um, there he is, weaponed up. It just looks great. It really, really does. It's just, I know it's a very, very clever idea. I know it's, um, I suppose, some people might call it corny, um, but it just works. It looks a little bit like the Ghostbusters truck as well with the colour scheme, I think. But it, again, fantastic idea. Um, I, I may get mine. I'm still undecided yet. I hopefully, I was hoping it would go in sale, but it didn't. We all know that there's a new mould for the truck, and you can see there, I suppose, just how different it is. The fact that Optimus's head is, in fact, at the bottom. So it'll be interesting to see what they reuse this mould for at a later date. And again, just a few more images of him there. Right, moving on to sightings. So, Lego Optimus Prime is in Cyprus. Legacy Wave 3 Voyager Armada Starscream has been spotted in Ireland. Legacy Wave 2 Voyager Jaxis is in Peru. Earth Spark Wave 1 
Warrior and Spin Changes are in Singapore. Shatter Glass Sound Wave, Earth, wave, Earth Spark Wave 1. One Step Flip Changes Deluxe in Taiwan. And then, as I say, I'm pretty sure this is somewhere in Australia. They've got Retro Beast Wars spotted as well. So again, I'll keep you updated as and when I see these. All this information I take from T-Formers in TFW 2005 and sometimes other forms of social media. So as soon as I know, I'll let you know. This is something we've seen. This is something that if it comes to fruition is gonna be fantastic. It is, of course, uh, Legacy Medics. We've seen these images. It is not confirmed. It is obviously looking like crap cases mold with dire burnout's head i like the fact again that we've got different weapons and accessories um, and also I like the fact that someone's of course related to, related to the fact that it could be a homage as well to medics there was a botcon exclusive i think it was in 2016 uh, for a bit of fun i've got my son's medics ready at home and i'm going to be doing a review on the original one as well just to i suppose enlighten people as to who the who this is basically based on um, but again if this is true it's looking very, very good. Right, this is something that may surprise you. So these are some statues. Uh, these are, I'm not gonna tell you who they're by just yet, because you'll be quite surprised. So these are made of soft vinyl. They're 12 centimeters tall. They're coming in a two pack, literally like this. Uh, they're retailing at 11,000 yen or $81. And believe it or not, these are, they're known as cutie statues and they are actually made by prime one studios so they're amazing statues we've seen of beast wars transmetal megatron and all of the other movie based optimus prime figures same company com something completely different obviously and there indeed is the write-up from them there you see so prime one studios saying exactly what i've just told you there that they are exactly that they are 4.5 inches 12 centimeters tall and you can order them as part of a twin pack not something I was expecting from Prime One Studios, if I'm being honest. Right, this is something that was mentioned at TF Nation in the UK in the summer. There was Jim Sorensen and Chris McFeely summarised and showed off fan art and interpretations, interpretations, let's get it right, of Ron Friedman's first Transformers, the movie. Now, if you remember, and I didn't really go into this too much, however, what I might now do because of this is just do a total video on it if you want me to. Uh, basically, it was exactly that it was the idea of transforms the movie before it actually came about so the new article has been condensed to 210 pages from 210 pages rather into just over 16,000 words for an easy and more comfortable reading so this is an excerpt or a page from it i'm not going to read it i'm just showing you where we've got this from there is a copy of the front and for those of you who've seen and because i highlight this website quite a lot on this channel there it is this is the sunbow marvel archive so this i suppose new sort of broke of this roundabout tf nation in august in the uk because there's a special feature they had exactly this they had the movie before it was the movie there was loads of things that were different in it um, i know a lot of people read it and people are interested in it uh, but again what i think i might do is just a total video based on it and read through it and point out a few of the things that i think that are interesting let me know in the comments if that's something you want me to do um I think it could be quite interesting now it's been condensed rather than go through 210 huge pages of a different script right moving on this is a stop motion advert or this is an image and a link where you can find it so the magic at the gathering i featured on friday with all the new cards there's a lovely stop motion video you can find this on tformers on tfw 2005 and it's a stop motion video again exactly that advertising the magic of the gathering and it features the war for cybertron optimus prime and megatron in a fierce battle and it's also the gathering transformers cars that are included in the secret layer drops which are live today and again there's a link on tformers and tfw 2005 right rise of the beast now one confirm two confirmed figures one that hasn't been confirmed we've seen this figure before this is just more images of it and if i'm being honest I prefer the other one, which seems to have fallen by the wayside. So this is what we're believing to be Studio Series Air Razor, which I think she looks good. I think she's obviously an upgrade to the Kingdom version that we've seen. The paint scheme, paint apps look brilliant with the reflectiveness. She's quite a bit bigger, as you're going to see in a second, than the standard one. There you go. That came out in Kingdom just maybe a little bit. I'm not, I can't really tell with Pterosaur there, but you can see feet are bigger, proportions are bigger. She just looks, there you go, that really shows off how much bigger she is and than the original figure that was released. There she is with some other, I think these are gonna be deluxe sort of kids versions of the figures, 
once again this, these are not confirmed images all we're led to believe is it could be studio series version of air razor however the images you're about to see coming up in a second transforms tuesday it was in the uk yesterday and all around the world oh before we get there sorry here you go scalper alert scalper beta get to costco in the us and you can get the optimus prime and bumblebee rc for under 20 dollars that's great so i thought i'd show you that just before christmas but this is what i was alerting to these here these these ones here these are officially revealed on Transformers Tuesday. So we've got Studio Series 99, which is Voyager, Voyager Battle Trap, due 17th of February next year, gonna be $35. And Studio Series Deluxe 100, Bumblebee, $25, and again due 17th of February. So these were revealed by Transformers Tuesday. It was 6 p.m. in the UK, not short sure time everywhere else. We've seen a few images of these already, but as you can see, official Hasbro logos, official Studio Series, um artwork and everything on them rise of the beast figures they look great to be honest this one looks a little basic i think he looks great but for studio series figure i i wait to see how many steps he's going to take because i think he just looks just a little bit basic but again my knowledge of the studio series figures isn't as good as most uh i have just got back into collecting them but battle trap on the other hand i think looks spectacular um and again i'm excited for this figure i think Again, they look great, and it's great to know that these are officially confirmed. You can pre-order them I'm on loads of online stores, including Hasbro Pulse themselves. And yeah, there you go. So this, com this completes news part two. So my YouTube channel is, is, I'm so far behind. I've got to do a load of videos on Star Saber. This guy came, can't wait to do this. This is of course Getsui. This is number two of the train bots for Raiden. Um, I'm doing more collection videos. I'm still trying to move my room around. Um, I've got loads going on, but it, it's great. I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. I've still got the Super 7 Ultimate Optimus Prime to do. So sorry, Robot Recruits. Um, thank you to all the channel members. Thank you to everybody watching. Thank you for all the positive feedback. As I say, you know, I did rush in honesty that video of Star Saber out because people just wanted to see him, wanted to see what was inside the packaging. Uh, but again, yes, there will be a much more detailed video coming out of them broken down into different segments and then i'll do a whole playlist of them all together so really looking forward to doing that um thank you very much for in i suppose liking sharing commenting and being on this journey with me on this channel thank you ever so much for the support guys take care